Are we buying matching panties, yes or no? Yes. Okay, I'm going to Duncan. Do you want to come? Sure. Say hi. Oh my god, I'm in the vlog! Hello girls, gays, and folks. I'm the fourth and final lap that you skipped when you were supposed to be running the mile in middle school, Tyler Holiday, and I'm here with a new vlog for you guys. I plan on making a video dedicated to some of the things I learned in 2020 and things I wanna work on this year. And in that video, I'll probably touch on my decision to step away from YouTube for a while and make all of my previous videos um, unlisted so they're not public anymore. I woke up this morning feeling kind of optimistic. I felt prepared to give this another go. So this morning I slept in because I'm still on break for J-term. NYU does a whole semester over January and if you don't take part you have essentially like a month or five weeks off. So I slept in this morning and then I went to Dunkin. So my order is in iced oat milk latte and the Beyond Breakfast sandwich. So now that I finished that aside, I'm ready to head to the Housing Works thrift store on Loft right now. I happened to pop in there about a week ago, just while I was out for a walk. It's a nice thrift store. For those of you who aren't familiar with Housing Works, it's a nonprofit organization that helps fight homelessness and is trying to help cure AIDS. I'm gonna leave the link to their organization in the description box, but I sort of on a whim sauntered into the nearest location to me, the Housing Works thrift store, and came across this Burberry coat I thought was really nice. And it's not like a thrift store, it's like a resale shop because all the stuff in there is kind of expensive. I don't really dislike that some of the clothes that you're buying secondhand are a bit more expensive because it's for charity, because I think Housing Works is a particularly good cause. I did coincidentally get booked to dog sit on Rover during my NYU syllabus week. And I think since I have the money coming in, I want to go try on the coat. So now that I finished breakfast and watched some YouTube, I'm gonna do my morning skincare and I'm gonna head out there and I wanna take you guys with me. So check with you guys in a minute. Okay, this is what I'm wearing today. I have my Gaze the Word tote bag. Uh, Gaze the Word is a really cute independent LGBTQ bookstore on March Mart Street in London. If you're ever there, check it out. You guys, I got a sample of Victor and Rolf um, Spice Bomb, and I'm obsessed. Like, cute Nicki Minaj, like, I don't think you understand. Like, I'm obsessed. So earlier, when I was leaving to go to Duncan, I knew I wanted to get sort of a treat for the afternoon, something kind of sweet. And I was walking down Sullivan Street, going to Oatmeal's, which is a spot off of MacDougall in the village that has oatmeal, and they have these spectacular oatmeal cookies. But then, as I was walking down Sullivan, look what opened up, you guys. The Sullivan Street Bakery. Okay, I went in here this afternoon and I already ate the piece of olive oil cake, but it's so cute in there. It's a pop-up. The girl was so nice. She told me they were hoping to make this space permanently theirs. So if you're ever wanting to go and try it, the olive oil cake was delicious. Housing Works is on the first block after Houston. So behind me is gonna be the Airy and the Amazon Four Star location and up here there's a lot of construction so it would ordinarily be the housing works bookstore and cafe but it's been under construction for quite a while now but the ordinary thrift shop is still open so let's go in there and cross our fingers that the coat is still there um if you get motion sick i would not watch this clip because you're hanging from my tote bag the freaking coat is not here devastating let's try this on this is a helmet line coat in the size p p for petite p for To know what we can get out. <laughs> Looks like the joke's on me. Okay, so it turns out P stands for pretty fucking small. I uh, asked the girl who was working when I came in just two or three days ago, like, just for my peace of mind, like, do you remember, like, selling the coat? They are so nice. The guy checked the flip back rack for me in the back, and then Miss Girl ended up taking my name and phone number in case she sees it or comes across it. She said she'd give me a text, which I think she meant she was just doing, like, out of, like, the niceness of her heart. It's all, if you couldn't tell from the clip, like, pretty curated name brand stuff. I'm just gonna go find somewhere to get a second coffee before I go home to do schoolwork. Uh, iced white chocolate peppermint mocha, secured. You guys, this Starbucks on Broadway is fairly new, and it is so nice. And for what reason? Because the team goes over in there. Last time I was very excited, I was like, 
hey besties and we were just chit-chatting it up and one of the the girl who made my drink was telling about her boyfriend's hands his fingers are attached like just below the knuckle so he can't wear gloves um girl anyways okay so i'm back in my apartment and i immediately checked the housing works both their online sort of commerce website and the auction website and couldn't find the coat anywhere I'm gonna do a little unboxing because the, someone buzzed my apartment earlier so I knew I had a delivery. And I actually have two. Start with this Nordstrom package. Black turtleneck that I bought from Topman because I have another piece I thrifted that would look really cute like layered over top of a black turtleneck. So I went ahead and ordered this one from Topman because all of their basic stuff like this never fails me. I think someone put it really well on Twitter when they said, like, if the stimulus check had been, like, $2,000, like, okay, yeah, I would have, like, paid my rent. I would have preemptively paid some of the interest on my student loans. But with $600, I'm getting Botox. Now, I'm not quite ready for Botox. So, what did I do? I bought a bag. Because after my recital, I bought my first bag. And now it's like you got to scratch the itch. It's like, when I got piercings, like, next thing you know, you have, like, eight piercings. I bought a bag from Coach. I saw this one online and I knew I had to have it. I used only a little bit of my stimulus shirt, only a little bit. Ooh. Yep, yep. This, I like this because it's a nice medium sized bag. It looks like it's gonna strike a happy medium between my Marc Jacobs snapshot and my Longchamp Le Pliage, which is the only other bag I've bought since I bought my post recital bag. Get into this. I love a bag you wear crossbody, not because I live in New York and I'm scared someone's gonna take it. Da, 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 da. No, because I need to be hands free. Uh, da, 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 da. Carrying groceries, gotta put your keys in the door. Like I can't hold a bag, so I couldn't do one of those like Prada, you know, those like armpit purses. First of all, I know that bag stinks. I know you're stinky. I know your little armpit bag stinks. Uh, I ordered this kind of, I ordered this quite a while ago. Yeah, the CEO sent out an email to everyone who had like placed orders from Coach within the last month and was like, sorry we ruined everyone's Christmas. I was like, yeah, I wasn't really in a rush anyway, so I don't really fucking care, but. Damn, this came in a lot of like stuff. I'm pretty sure that the strap is this long because you can either wear it or, or get into this. And it sits just, just far enough below your armpit. It's not going to stink. Oh my god, my mom thinks I'm a skinny legend. Stop. Where's the dust bag? It's getting weird. Perfect. Um, snacks. More snacks. So on the front, the leather, you've got sort of this ombre rainbow effect. And then underneath it, Underneath the clasp, you have the magnetic closure and the signature sort of coach pattern on the textile here in the front. Lighting isn't super fantastic in this hallway, but... One of the qualms I have with wearing bags that kind of go across this... No, this one doesn't do it because the chain is moderately thin, but the Marc Jacobs strap, I feel like it makes it look like I have like these big juicy tits. There's a time and a place. Sometimes it's not the time and the place. Snapshot, lip pliage. Whatever this one's called. Now that I've got my daily walk in, that's it for this portion of my day, so I'm gonna check with you guys later. Hey vlog. Okay, so since I last saw you guys, I filmed a YouTube video about some things I learned in 2020, uh, some of the goals I have for 2021, and I was like watching video, clip, clip, delete. Uh, 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 uh. Did you guys know it takes like hours to upload a YouTube video? And then all of a sudden it was four hours later and it was nine o'clock and I was finally hungry for dinner. I just worked so hard today. So I ordered Uber Eats. Sorry to whoever's card got charged. I did not know the last four digits of so whatever card that was. My doctor's appointment, which is at 11 tomorrow. Need to kill the rest of my coconut water. So I made the Monique Samuels hydration recipe, which is just one part coconut water to one part filtered water with a splash, a teaspoon, of apple cider vinegar, um, unfiltered, so it's got the mama at the bottom, and a sprinkle of salt. I'm gonna leave the link to Monique Samuels' blog in the description box. It's called Not For Lazy Moms. It's just an amazing way to support um, a black owned and women led informational website. I'm gonna journal, may listen to a little bit of my audiobook before bed and go to sleep. And I'll check in with you guys in the morning before I go to my doctor's appointment on the lower side. 
Good morning. So I just woke up, it's 9.30, and I'm about to do my morning skincare and get dressed and leave to walk to the Lower East Side for my doctor's appointment. So I'm gonna take you guys with me, but I gotta get ready first, so give me one second. It is a pretty cold and bleak day here in New York City. It's supposed to rain later, but it is still a beautiful day to stream Best Friends by Sweetie featuring Doja Cat. iPhone cam here at Delancey and Essex, but through the Essex market. There was a fight that went viral on Twitter that took place at McDonald's. Breakfast check. Happy International Bagel Day. This girl only charged me a dollar, even though I got a whole wheat everything bagel with plain cream cheese. I was gonna say, I streamed Rihanna's Breaking Dishes while I was walking here, so I am feeling skinny, rich, and violent this morning. Then I got two pieces of the Cafe de Avignon dark chocolate olive oil loaf cake. I got two. Uh, I might eat one now. I might eat one after my doctor's appointment. I might eat both after my doctor's appointment. I don't know. It's so fucking good. I had to get two because I'm never over here. Then I got my little iced mocha, which this coffee is really delicious, even if I think it embodies everything that's wrong with New York City. What other place in the world can this cost you six dollars? A dollar for oat milk? We're being robbed. I'll say it. I think we should have that conversation, but not right now because I want to eat. We in this bitch. Gonna get our ankles fixed. Eyebrows on, knee threaded. So I just had my doctor's appointment and I'm gonna talk about what sort of happened in it in the story time I'm planning to record either today or tomorrow dedicated to my ankle. But afterwards I went to Starbucks. There's some other coffee places I like here on the Lower East Side, but I already shopped small once today and I have my mom's Starbucks card. So I'm just gonna walk back to my apartment now and probably take it easy for the rest of the day. So this place, the Detox Market, has been around since I used to live in this neighborhood and I never went in before for whatever reason. I'm gonna go ahead and go in today because I feel like making a purchase and I recognize some of the brands in there, so I'm gonna pop in. Okay, so I'm back in my own apartment and the Detox Market turned out to be just as cool as I thought it was gonna be. While I was in there, I ended up picking out this little port and polish seven day pill case it's so cute i got it in the color blush pink and funnily enough like when i left my apartment this morning i was getting ready and i thought oh like i need to make sure to put my um, prescription and my vitamins and supplements in the little container i usually keep in one of my other bags that i keep in my bag and i freaking forgot i didn't realize until i was halfway gone this is it i think it is so cute oh say hi these particular pill cases are made by a husband and wife who live here in New York and they used to hand deliver them to the detox market location on Houston and before COVID obviously, but I think that's really sweet. So I was really glad that I picked this up and like decided to buy this specific thing. This was 20 bucks by the way. Earlier this week, I set the pills on the table for me to take while I was like just doing a bunch of things like getting ready that morning. And I remember using the bathroom and then coming out to take the pills and they were gone. And yeah, it was just a super weird moment. But now I have this cutie. Additionally, I got 10% off of my first purchase at the Detox Market and I made an account with them and I'm gonna link the website down below because I think it's really nice there. Um, so that's it for now. I'm debating whether or not I wanna film my ankle story time because I happen to be like kind of fired up about it right now. I don't really have plans for the rest of the day. I was supposed to watch Drag Race with a friend who was gonna come over, but I don't know if anybody else ever like makes plans and then like the day comes and you're like, Ugh. but I'm sort of like in just like a bad mood about my ankle. He was also like secondhand exposed to COVID. He's getting a test today. Yeah, otherwise not much else on the docket for today. It's supposed to rain later anyway, so I'll check with you guys later if I decide to do anything. Okay, vlog. So I came over to Olivia's and we finished shooting my dossier unboxing and review a couple hours ago. And then we ended up getting Thai food and tiramisu and hanging out to watch Real Housewives of New York. So I'm about to get a car and go home. What are you doing tomorrow? Me? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got back from Olivia's and I'm about to retire for the evening. I'm probably gonna watch an episode of Real Housewives of Potomac and have some of my milk bar cake. Um, whenever I go to Nordstrom, I just have to get something from the milk bar because you can put it on your Nordstrom credit card. So Olivia and I got pieces of cake. I can't wait to edit these videos and share them with you all. I feel like it has been 
such a long time coming and I feel so grateful to have the opportunity to share what just a couple one-off days in my life look like. It's the way that every morning I have to put on something new to wear when I ordinarily wear one outfit per week for the sake of like vlog continuity. Good morning vlog. So I have a couple errands to run today. I need to exchange something at Sephora and I need to go to the post office to mail a letter and drop off a package. I wanna take you guys along with me today, cause why not? So I just woke up, I'm about to make some avocado toast and then I'm gonna check in with you guys afterwards. Also, I saw a TikTok while I was lying in bed this morning that sort of like struck a nerve with me. Um, this young woman who was doing a voiceover and she was like showing all these healthy food dishes and making remarks about how Subway used to put a chemical found in yoga mats in their bread to make it stretchy and how Taco Bell uses like fillers instead of real meat and that she's not saying this to scare anyone because she wants she wants to inspire people to follow her TikTok account to make like healthy, delicious restaurant recipes. I don't appreciate fat phobia that comes to us under the guise of worrying about our health, okay? I know people who are stick thin that eat like absolute garbage and don't get two words said to them. So people are like, oh, well, I just want everyone to like be healthier and live healthier lifestyles. Like you'll feel better if you eat a vegetable. Like. Just say you want me to stop being fat, like just say you don't like fat people. And at the end of the day, I feel like the conversation around like making healthy dishes at home is not sympathetic to people who face food insecurity and don't necessarily have the money to buy ingredients. So yeah, I could watch your TikTok recipe for you know chicken and vegetable empanadas, but at the end of the day, I could go eat at McDonald's hypothetically for less than five dollars if i was really on a budget but if i have to buy a package of chicken breasts for the chicken empanadas that's one thing on the long list of ingredients that are going to be necessary that alone is going to be five dollars and you know what at the end of the day i am very grateful to have the money to buy the ingredients to make the meals that i want to make i don't face food insecurity and you know what i'm still gonna get taco bell on uber eats and if i want to eat taco bell i want to eat taco bell okay well i just had to get that off my chest before i ate breakfast so i'm a pisces and I'm not saying zodiac signs, you know, they, you are what your zodiac tells you, what your zodiac sign says, your birth stone, whatever. But I literally just want to get an awa yeah, awa. It, it kind of <laughs> If Budgie supports you LGBT. Like, my mom made me watch The Secret when I was five years old. It changed my whole life. And I'm spreading my Who else's mom read The Secret? Okay, it poured last night, so I've got my stompers on. And we're gonna go to the post office first to drop off a package and a letter, and then we're gonna hop over to Sephora, and we're probably gonna get coffee while we're out, so I'll check with you guys soon. Okay, so I uh, have dropped off the package, mailed the letter, and I went into Sephora on Broadway to exchange the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation for the NARS Sheer Glow. Am I the only one? who can't go into Sephora and like not leave covered in makeup. But I'm gonna go for a second coffee of the day now. I stuck my tongue out, but you couldn't see it because I'm wearing a mask. I should say it again. The only thing that helps me keep track of the days of the weeks are if I'm walking through Soho and there's a line outside of Dominique Ansel, that means it's the weekend. Also, I had a nightmare about my sister's cat this morning. Did you guys know that cats can be violently homophobic? I didn't dream- I also actually didn't dream up the homophobia. He is certifiably homophobic. I just had a nightmare that he was attacking me. Just stopped into the best Starbucks in Manhattan. You already know the vibes. Besties were working. Put me onto venti iced latte with soy milk and cinnamon dolce. To me, it's giving cinnamon bun. I was just getting sort of tired of the same routine. Like, I just needed something to switch it up. My family's been going to Starbucks for as long as I can remember. Like, I was drinking mocha frappuccinos at the ripe age of, like, six years old. So now I'm on my way back to my apartment, and I remembered I have the piece of dark chocolate olive oil loaf from yesterday, and I just feel like God smiled on me. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check with you guys when I get back. I gotta get back first. All the girls are like, where can we eat that has a heater? Have you considered your own apartment? I think I told you guys that I was supposed to dog sit. And the reason I accepted the dog sitting gig was so that I could go back to Housing Works and buy the Burberry coat. But then she ended up enrolling the dog and doggy boot camp after I went back and couldn't find the coat. So I'm back to no money, no coat. Well, I'm back in my apartment with my cinnamon dolce latte 
and my olive oil loaf. Ah. And I was so excited when I got home last night that I edited the dossier video immediately. So I'm going to put some finishing touches on that and go ahead and start the upload process because it takes a couple hours. And while it's uploading, I think I would like to go ahead and edit the footage I have from the last three days. So that means this is where I leave you. Um, I've just got some schoolwork I want to work on for the rest of the weekend. As much as I want to commit to YouTube, school has to come first. So I don't want to make a habit of picking up the camera when I have other things I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start assembling and editing the footage from these last three days. Thank you guys for joining me to see a little bit of what my life is like during three days off in J term from NYU. So please be safe. Wear your mask. Uh, if you want to support my channel, please consider liking this video, commenting, subscribing to my channel, sending this to someone else who you think could enjoy it. All right, until the next video. Bye, guys. This is a journal my mom got me for Christmas last year. It looks like I was feeling inspired August 4th and 5th to write a little something. Oh, and I wrote three things I was grateful for. You know what? I'm going to write three things I'm grateful for tonight. Uh, three things I'm grateful for today are... To have an apartment that feels like a sanctuary. The second thing I'm grateful for, a renewed sense of inspiration a bit. And then the third thing I'm grateful for is, I thought of it and then I was like, no, you can't say that, but now I can't think of anything else. The and other stories, Miami Muse body spray. I've been to Miami. Been on its Muse, what can I say?